You guys, hell has frozen over <laughs> because Netflix and chill is about to be taxed, no. apparently. Ooh. So, you guys, most people don't subscribe to a cable provider anymore. I know. They, just, they don't, they don't pay Cut for the cord. it because <laughs> streaming is a thing. Yes. yes. So, most people use Netflix and Hulu and HBO, all these different... Apple TV? Stream, exactly, all yeah. of this. And because of that, the government is like, uh, we need to cash in on this because we're not getting the money that we used to get from when people subscribe to a cable provider. So they're like, let's instill a tax on streaming. That's annoying. <sighs> so it has happened in a couple places so far. <laughs> Both Chicago <laughs> and Break Florida. it down. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, don't convulse. This, this has happened. already happened. It has happened in Chicago and Pennsylvania. In some places, yeah. Many cities in California have already started ta in discussion. Is there don't a worry. list so I can never move there? <laughs> <laughs> what, Pasadena. What, what's Pasadena. being taxed? Pas so they're calling it a utility tax. Which a utility tax? Kind of like gas or water. It's like yeah, on public service business, like things like that, like gas, water. But then people are like, okay, if you're gonna call uh, streaming a utility, then that could span off into a lot of like different apps and stuff. Like, where do you draw yeah, the line? Yeah. So people are freaking out about it, but it makes sense because over 47 million people are subscribed to Netflix, and that amounts to billions of dollars in taxes if this did become a thing. Mm. So this is a tax that's going to be like taken out of our paycheck. When no, you, they're just going, yeah, it's basically, it's Netflix not that system. bad when you look at it on a smaller scale because it's literally only a dollar more that you're going to pay. So I think it's easy to pass it because people are like, oh, $7.99 to $8.99, not a big deal. Mm -hmm. I love Netflix. It's not that expensive. Yeah, yeah. But when you think of it on a larger scale and thinking, come on, you're doing this, you're going to make a huge profit off of it. I mean, based off it's of more than why are they calling it a tax? They're just raising the price. No, but it would go, I'm assuming, the tax would go to the government then, I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But here's the thing, like, I get it, I understand, people gotta make a buck, that people are using these streaming services, that we're probably losing a ton of tax money on people cutting the cord and not having cable, yeah. I get that. But isn't the tenet of having internet that you already pay for it? And it's unlimited. And that it should be free beyond yeah. that? If and I'm already paying for my unlimited well, wireless. You're, and I'm, you're paying for the speed. You're not paying for, for the amount of content that you're, like, yeah. what yeah. if people, people that work? So the like, argument, what? officials are saying that with the changing of technology with time, it's not fair that people who still pay for cable are taxed on that, and then most people who don't use that That's aren't taxed because they're streaming. I don't understand. But, like, then stop using good. cable. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no. exactly. Cut the cord. I mean, I mean, I get it because I just want to make more money, but I just think that would suck. And I, I wonder, know. logistically, like you're saying, if it is only a buck more. I mean, one buck adds up a lot. Like, yeah. just I for mean, how many million bucks, people? Forty-seven million. Forty-seven. That's forty-seven, 47 million, million dollars. Yeah. I mean, if it's gonna go to like education and building schools or something for kids, I'm game. But yeah. beyond that, yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't we have to like vote on it or something? Yeah. Where's yeah. my yeah. taxation yeah. without representation? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't it say something about that? Like that's why you have to be careful, like who you vote for in office, because this is one of the okay, outcomes well, I about it. Is, so yeah. this is our major issue that we care about. Decide who you're voting for. Life or death. What it cost you to cut or uh -huh. cut access subscriptions? It no. wouldn't cause me to cancel it. First of all, a dollar. I'm like, it's if you, fine. If you can yeah. afford $7.99, I'm hoping that you can afford $8.99. Eight nine nine. And like, right. also, saying it's going to put an end to streaming, I don't think anyone's going to not no. use Netflix because of an extra dollar. People probably wouldn't even notice. If they just also I wouldn't notice. You you, Absolutely not. Because no one checks on their monthly, like, how much they're paying to Netflix. You just right. take out your account. You no, know? the only time I ever figure out when I'm subscribed to something mm -hmm. that I, like, forgot about, it's like if my card, like, got compromised yeah. and I have to get a new one, and mm -hmm. then it's like, oh, you haven't paid your like title. I'm still paying. For mine, it. mine is always. Why am I still paying for title? <laughs> title mine, over. Mine is always if I get my my bank account get too low, and then you know how sometimes they take out stuff like later on after you bought oh, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> like, Netflix, iTunes, Hulu. And I'm like, when did I rent that oh, movie? <laughs> yeah, no, that time of the month, I'm like, oh damn it, all of my streaming. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think the question, it's a valid question, like, is this actually going to affect anything? I mean, if no. you think about, like, five years mm -hmm. ago, people somehow were scratching together the money to pay, like, 120 bucks a month Cable's for cable. Expensive. And now here Cable's we are, like, $7.99 to $8.99? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but across, like, five platforms, you're right. Could that could be, like, 50 or 60 bucks. Yeah. But still, those people who are taking this 50 money... 50 or 60 over, bucks, it would be five or six dollars. Of, like, <laughs> so, uh, someone that's higher up could just make that decision, like, a dollar extra for everybody, and then just cash in like but, that's annoying but wait yeah. like you said Jocelyn if it is going to something but like education I'm sure or, or, like, a dollar. you know something constructive then fine yeah. I don't yeah. care yeah. where I'm is this money going people. Yeah. So if it's a utility what else can they make 
Exactly. What yeah. else can they make a utility tax at that point? How I mean, they, I, are I, endless. I'm yeah. fine if they want to tax Netflix and then not tax our tampons. <laughs> oh, that would oh, be great. That'd be great. Yeah. I'm fine with that. That yeah. makes a lot of sense. That is a whole show. <laughs> but if it's still over into social media apps where they start taxing you to use Instagram or Facebook or Snapchat. I would just cancel all of them, except YouTube, because that's where we are. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that one. I mean, what if we started taxing people to watch us? Well, I mean, be essentially, like, what if we already are? <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's kind of crazy. I mean, realistically, yeah, we make money off Google ads on YouTube. That's how we keep food on our tables and through brand deals and whatnot. But, like, most people watch us for free. Yeah. Like, would they watch us? Would you watch if you had to pay? <laughs> Please say yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so <no> saucy! <laughs> hey, this it works for boy. Kylie. It works for the Kardashians. So true. That's you know, they have the app for, what, a dollar? And mm -hmm. all those people watch? That's... A nice little I kept my Kylie and Kim out for a while. But then, then you what? what? I, I took, I took, I took, I you heard about this, you were like, I'm going to put that dollar <laughs> into Netflix. I wasn't using my Kimoji as often, so I was like, screw it. Cool story, Drew. <laughs> she brought it up. Just Listen, priorities, okay? Do you have any paid for apps? <sighs> um, no. Do you? No. no. I'm not big on like the app stuff. The stuff you have to pay for monthly, like the Kardashian apps? Not the on purpose, the unless I like, accidentally downloaded something. Yeah. I probably yeah. accidentally am paying for a few. Yeah. Really? really st I probably am. That's stupid. Yeah, I do that all the time. Yeah. Like, I don't crap. think I am. Oh, no. I don't even, like, pay for music. The first song that I ever bought on iTunes was, like, actually a month ago, and it was Justin Bieber, Can't Stop the Feeling. I oh, really need so Justin Timberlake. <laughs> um, <laughs> 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 it was like, Justin Bieber, that's not that song. No, no, Justin Timberlake, Justin Timberlake I'm sorry. Can't Stop the Feeling. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Anyway. That's a whole, but yeah, that's the thing, right? People buy music um, all the time. I, I was guess. that person that used <laughs> iTunes literally, guys, up until two years ago. I had an iPod, still had my little nano. So it's that's not a thing. And so I was really. like, no. I use Apple Music. Yeah, that's I mean, what I use now. I'm, most people use, if you're like really into music and you want to like have stuff downloaded or whatever, people use paid for streaming services yeah. like Spotify or Apple Music or something. Tax that too. Yep. Which yeah. they can tax. Which, Which they can tax. tax. everything. Well, there you go. I hate I'm taxes. It's really stressful. Guys, I just understand if you're upset, but if it's for a good cause, why not? Tell us what you think in the comment section below. Do you want to be taxed? Do you not want to be taxed? Do you want Netflix and chill? Who wants to Thrill? be taxed, Drew? <laughs> For the better of mankind. Literally. Oh, yeah, That's yeah, how. yeah. Good point. Not at all. Let us know, you guys. Comment section. We'll see you next time. Bye. But before you go, click to the left to check out all the conspiracy theories from the 2016 Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. Or click to the right, because Selena Gomez was crowned the most followed person on Instagram. But Justin Bieber is also doing something on Instagram. That has to do with the devil. <laughs> <What>? <laughs>